So, are you an electronic music producer looking for the best free VST plugins to enhance your sound? Look no further. In this video, we're going to introduce you to the top free VST plugins that you can use in your electronic music production. I've scoured the internet and tested countless plugins to bring you my top picks. From synth plugins to effects, I've got you covered. These plugins are not only free, but they also deliver a high quality sound that can take your productions to the next level. So as you can see, I prepared some little loop here on track 1 to 6. These are all the sounds that I created with the free VST plugins I'm about to show you. On the track 7 to 13, these are just samples um, that I used for the bass and the drums. So here I have some variations of all the sounds just to see which um, sounds fit well together. Um, it's just the first step to yeah, basically get an idea of where the track should be going and maybe we can go through it quickly. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. It helps a lot and is much appreciated. All right, so the first plugin is called Helm. This is a quite versatile and very easy to use synthesizer that is perfect for creating anything from lush pads to heavy bass lines. It features two oscillators and a sub oscillator that can produce a wide range of waveforms as well as a variety of modulation options, filters and effects. What's great about Helm is that it's not only free but it's also lightweight and won't eat up your computer processing power. Plus it's available for multiple platforms including Windows, Mac and Linux. With its intuitive interface and powerful features, Helm is a must-have plugin for any electronic music producer. So if you haven't already, be sure to check it out and add it to your arsenal of production tools. So the next plugin is Tyrell N6 by UHE. This is a software synthesizer that can create a wide range of sounds, from classic analog to modern digital. It has a lot of modulation options and the built-in patch editor. As you can see, I used it here for this 80s kinda synth sound. And what I really like here is the noise and um, also the chorus. We also have two LFOs and two envelopes. Okay, the next plugin is the TAL Noisemaker. This is a plugin that I have used here for two different types of sounds, as you can hear. One is this um, FX sound and the other is this dark piano kind of sound. Okay, so next in the line we have Dext, which is a free virtual instrument plugin that emulates the Yamaha DX7, a very popular digital synthesizer from the 80s. Um, the plugin interface closely resembles the DX7 with a 6 operator FM synthesis engine and a 32 algorithm matrix for routing operators. It also includes a variety of preset patches that closely emulate the sounds of the original DX7 as well as a range of new patches created by the plugin user community. In addition to the standard DX7 parameters, Dext includes some additional features that make it more flexible than the original hardware. For example, it includes a built-in effects processor with chorus, delay and reverb, as well as a dedicated filter section for shaping the sound. Okay, so next we have another one from UHE, which is the Podolsky. This is a free virtual analog synthesizer plugin. Um, it's very versatile and compact. 
and it can be used to create a wide range of sounds from vintage analog synth tones to modern leads and basses. The plugin basically features two oscillators, each with a choice of eight different waveforms, including sawtooth, triangle, square and pulse. It also includes a sub-oscillator, a noise generator and a ring modulation option for more complex sound shaping. So for the effects we have the Valhalla Space Modulator. This is just an amazing plugin which I really love to use on vocals. Um, it's versatile and unique. It can be used for to add a range of chorus, flanging and phasing effects to audio signals. Um, the user-friendly interface with simple controls make it really easy to dial in the desired effect. In this example, you can see that I just use a wet signal of about 20% and the rest is the dry signal. Okay, so then we have the limiter Loudmax. This plugin is known for its transparent sound and ability to increase the perceived loudness of audio without compromising the overall quality of the signal. Then we also have the DP Meter 5. This is my favorite metering plugin. Okay, but let's hear the track without the loud meter on. Then I will switch it on. So you can hear that the sound is much louder, but it's a very gentle limiter which doesn't change much of the characteristics. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.